I started playing drums around eight years old, being on boxes around the house with branches from trees and pots and pans, of course. Uh, my mother saw that I was interested, so I got my first drum at about age eight. And a play drum or a kid drum back then was basically paper and tin, so it didn't last too long, no matter how much you tried to take care of it. Got the next level of drum at 10, a uh, plastic shell with a plastic head. Lasted a little longer, and then the thing that changed my life was getting a drum set at age 12. And of course, back then we couldn't afford the drum set right out, so she put it in layaway. And I remember going to pick that drum up that day uh, at age 12. I remember like every block. And we brought it home and uh, played it in the backyard. It was a three piece blue sparkle. Sparkle was a thing back then. At that point, I saw that I had my mother's blessing uh, to play drums, and I began to just play and start gigging two years later in a group with some guys older than me and learned a lot about music. And I did that for three years before I went to college. And so when I went to college, I decided to be a music major. Uh, before I went to college, I joined the high school band at, in the 11th grade. Actually tried to start playing drums in the 7th grade, but I got there late and they put me on trumpet. So I didn't want to do that, so I didn't join again until the 11th grade. And uh, after those two years in high school, I went to college, Mississippi Valley State. And I majored in music. And I uh, met a lot of friends and determined at that point that I wanted to be a teacher. And uh, from there I went on to graduate school and my first teaching job was back at Mississippi Valley State teaching drums. And I was there for nine years and after nine years I came here to Ole Miss and that was 18 years ago. I was influenced by the music of the Delta and of course we grew up listening to Motown, the Sounds of Philadelphia, Stax, Atlantic Records. Uh, groups like uh, Al Green, uh, Staple Singers, uh, Earth, Wind & Fire is my favorite music group. So I listened to that music. Um, Maurice White, who was the leader of the group, he played drums, but he also played kalimba. And that's one instrument I really wanted to learn to play from seeing him play it. And finally got one. Uh, and of course, blues was everywhere in the Delta. You can go to the next block and there was somebody playing at like a little cafe or a honky-tonk uh, playing blues funk, rhythm and blues and so you heard live music and you got a chance to interact with those musicians and that influenced me a lot. Do you remember the first time you played a gig live? Yeah, the first time I played a gig live I was 14 and uh, this is the first time I got away from just playing in the yard and got a call from a local group and they were older and uh, we played downtown Greenwood and uh, I guess I was good enough to hold the beat and play a few drum fields, but that was at age 14. What's the story of how you met my mother? Uh, met my wife Annie in college at Mississippi Valley State. I actually met her as a freshman. We had a math class together. She was good at math, I wasn't. So um, got her to help me out. I think I made a D in that class, and she made an A. And uh, we were in a Christian organization together. Never dated until my senior year. In her senior year too, she asked me out. And uh, that was the beginning of the relationship. We got married a year after that. And um, of course, I went on to grad school, and that was our first time living away. After grad school, back to Mississippi Valley State. Uh, two children from that union. Uh, Rachel was born while at grad school in 1983. And then on my first teaching job at Mississippi Valley State, Tim was born in 1988. I do have some musical family. My influences were um, one of my oldest sisters and my brother who played a lot of music around the house. They never played musical instruments. Uh, but uh, I have a, my youngest sister played flute in the band and her daughter played clarinet. And uh, my brother-in-law, a brother-in-law uh, who was married to my oldest sister who influenced me, he played flute and really bought me one of the first world instruments, some bongos way back in the uh, 70s and I kept those for a while and he turned me on to a lot of really good world music and that was my beginning of listening to world music. Is there a story, did you play with Bobby Rush at some point and played at a club or something and got shot up, is that right? <laughs> yeah, uh, back in about 1977, uh, the group that I played in, I was 17 at the time, about to turn 18, uh, we were going to play in the hills of Carroll County and we're going to back up Bobby Rush. And uh, we were excited, so we got there before the gig, got set up, and we're ready to go. And as soon as we hit the first note, somebody starts shooting in there. And uh, we didn't get a chance to really do that gig with Bobby Rush. We packed up and we left. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I would recommend really any music out of New Orleans. I hadn't seen a group yet that toured that wasn't really, really good and had something special to offer. So I really love New Orleans music. Um, uh, I heard a really good group lately uh, called uh, 311 that plays some really hip, uh, kind of hip hop-ish uh, rock blend with some really cool lyrics, sound really good live. And, and that was something that was totally new to me. Personally, I, I like to listen to uh, R&B and I have a really wide um, variety of world music that I listen to. Uh, when I traveled to Argentina and Uruguay, I got into Camp Dobe from uh, Uruguay. And uh, of course, I had already listened to um, music from uh, Argentina, uh, tango and those things. I think that group's called 311. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're called three eleven, but that's okay. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to say that again? <laughs> no, we're gonna leave this completely uncut. Just let it go. Let it go like that. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's your favorite place that you visited outside the United States, or maybe in the United States? The favorite place that I visit outside the United States is Jamaica, which is some more music that I want to talk about. Uh, of course, there's reggae, but they've got mental and some other things happening there in Jamaica. Some really fine musicians, and uh, just really like that whole scene. And uh, I got a chance to see Jamaica, the, live with the people for several days, and then we went to the resort the last few days. So I really enjoyed that trip. I've had a good life. Uh, I, I've been blessed in everything that I've set out to do, so I'm really happy. Um, what changed my life before I came to this point, because I was really out there, I was just way out in the world, doing some things that could have taken my life. At 17, I, I found the true meaning of life, is that we're created by somebody, and you know, I found that to be God. And so I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That changed my life at 17. From that point, I had vision about school, life, and career, and I'm living in that career now. So I think true peace and joy comes from knowing our Creator and having a peace with the Lord. My name is Ricky Burkhead, and this has been my Oxford session. <laughs>